And now moving on to other news. Israel faces a critical shortage of engineers. The FECA College is leading the charge in transforming engineering education, bridging the gap between academia and industry to fuel the country's high-tech future. More on this from ILTV's Mayan Hoffman. The world is advancing at an incredible pace. As technology evolves and industries become more high-tech, the demand for skilled engineers continues to grow. So the entire uh, IT industry has been disrupted in the past maybe 10 years with new waves of innovation, disruptive technologies. Well, uh, from the networking to the cloud, the cyber security challenges, and now with the AI. And when we refer to AI, it's not only the LLM models, but how can we build the AI factory? the infrastructure that support the AI, the application layer, security layer. To develop future engineers, a continuous education plan and essential skill building are crucial. At Efeka College of Engineering in Tel Aviv, education goes beyond academics. They've transformed the learning process to ensure students not only gain essential knowledge, but also develop the skills needed to apply it effectively to solve complex problems work or lead multidisciplinary teams, communicate ideas concisely, and continue to self-learn throughout their careers. We discovered that everybody agreed that there is a need for the skills, but in each institute has developed its own unique model to instill the skills uh, for the graduate. We need to think strategically on a multi-year basis. What are the engines of growth that will make Israel secure and strong. And with this aspect, the, the economy, the high-tech industry, and the engineers uh, are a major uh, trajectory, and engineers as the only resource that we have. You know, in Israel, we don't have resources. We have only the human capital. So the investment in the engineers and growing and quality will flourish the economy. Israel is facing a shortage of 13,000 engineers and software developers. A Becca College has stepped up to meet this demand. While it once enrolled around 500 students per year, that number has now doubled to 1,000. Today, more than 700 graduates enter the workforce annually, supplying the country with approximately 10% of the new engineers joining the high-tech industry. But I think that our main role is to be an example of the need to, to change the educational process from the aspect of quality, specifically instilling skills in the educational process because academia need to change. Israel is currently at war and the country has urgent needs. Many donors have stepped up to help, but as Oren Sagi explains, we must also think strategically about Israel's future engines of growth and that engine is its engineers. Eventually the entire secret of Israel is talent. This is the main source of innovation, this is the main source of success. And talent comes from the academy and the academy and the connection between the academia, the Israeli academia, and the tech sector. And we see so much rapid changes within the tech industry and the economy. So what I ask people when I interview young engineers, they need to have the knife between the teeth, they need to have the energy in their eyes, they need to work very strong with the team and keep on being curious and to learn all the time. 